sunshine state of Florida. We're under the lights at beautiful Lone Depot Park. Tonight, it's an NL Eastern Division showdown between the New York Mets and the Miami Marlins. Gerald Hayden will try to write his name in history books and break the single season home run record. Next. So Get now into the baby. box is Gerald Hayden, hurt. already holding the all-time hit streak record. Gerald. He continues to carve out his yeah, place yeah, in the go. game's pantheon right here. You know, Matty, whatever happens in this guy's career, regardless whether he becomes a superstar uh, for 15 up, pick years pick or fizzles away, this mark will always stand. It will always be something that other players chase. Children will learn about it in textbooks. This guy has certainly etched his place in this game's history. And he will add yet another game to his incredible hitting streak as it now reaches even further into the stratosphere. You know, d -Row, I don't know if this the thing's ever going to end. This guy's been raking now for almost two months, and he's swinging the bat just as good now as when this streak started to start it off with his first base hit. Yeah, it, it doesn't seem like he's coming out of it anytime soon. Dig, 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 dig! And we'll just leave it there as they make the play to end the inning. Mets leave one. It's the Mets nothing. Marlins coming up. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Into the box, Jazz Chisholm. It lead things off here in the bottom Lead half of the first. The, Marlins, the second baseman. Jazz. A one two. Slow little grounder oh. left side. Feels it cleanly. And that's out Lead number up. one. Up next, Gerald Hayden, runner in scoring position with two guys. Find something you like up there. Hey there. All right, find your pitcher. Let's go, let's go. And now the first pitch. Takes this the other way to right. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. That way to find a sweet spot right there. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Pete Alonso. He's over one after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the one-two. Runner's going, and he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Gonzalez is there, and the side is retired. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll head now to the home half of inning number three. It's the Mets two, and the Marlins nothing. Now with the plate is Victor Mesa Jr. Worked a walk his first time up. Victor Mesa Jr. Here now the 2 2. There's a swing and a high pop up. Hayden takes charge and he's got it. Two down. So now to the plate, Gerald Hayden. He delivered an RBI single in his last trip. Gerald Hayden. Pitch on the way. Foul tip into the catcher's glove. It's strike one. Hey, boys, you talking about getting your A swing off right here? That's what it looks like. A guy with massive power letting it eat. And it's fouled away. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Slow roller left side. The he inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row. Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one, he's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. Runner at first with two gone, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Throw over to the bag, and he'll dive back in. Here now the 2-2. Runner goes. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Mets two and the Marlins nothing. Now 
next it'll be Gerald Hayden and he's the reigning recipient of the National League's Player of the Month award. Here we go let it fly here let it fly. Ready to deal here comes the first pitch. In the dirt oh, here. Get out, he goes get out. over to third. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line. Oh and one here it comes. Correa on third with two out. Oh, and he'll try to get him to chase the fastball there, but he lays off one and two. Love the high heater right there to raise the hitter's sights. Let's see if he buries something in the dirt right here. Hit out towards second. And he'll get in there safely. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three-nothing cushion. Hey, Dero, that's a big RBI right there to stretch this lead to three. Takes a lot of pressure off your pitcher going into the bottom part of the inning. Yeah, Dan, no doubt as an offense, all you're trying to do is put your pitchers in positions to be successful. Giving them that three-run cushion has to make you feel good. Ready now is Pete Alonzo. No thump out of him in this game so far, as might be expected. He's 0 for 3. Alonzo. The 1 and 2 pitch. Runner goes for second. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. And he gets there as he had a lot of ground to cover that time and the side is retired. A run on two hits and they leave one. Time to get up and stretch here in Miami. The Mets lead it three to nothing. Next up, Brandon Drury. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Brandon. Wind up and the 0-2 pitch. High pop-up. Oh. Hayden waits on it. Two gone. I'm sure his eyes lit up when he saw that curveball hanging in the zone, but maybe he tried to do too much with it because basically he hit it straight up. No doubt he wants that pitch back. Next, here is Eric Gonzalez, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Eric Gonzalez. This one's down to third. Throw on to first, and they'll escape the danger created by the error. The inning is over. One left for Miami. They trail it here, three to nothing. Jesus Sanchez, two away here in the eighth, oh, and yep. time's oh, running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Grounded to third. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Marlins can't cash in here, and that ends the inning. Marlins strand a pair, still down 3-0. Take a rip here. Next, it'll go. be now Gerald back. Hayden. Four hits for him in this one, Gerald. all singles. Hayden. Ain't no one better right here. First pitch on its way. Skied into straightaway right. Sanchez is there and he makes the catch for the Stand end. up right here, stand up, pick it up. And the throw from right will not be in time as he takes third on the flyout. And he just keeps on going and going. That's save number 35 for the season. And he's proven to be as reliable as anyone in the game. And tonight's ends as a 3-0 shutout win. The Metropolitans led this game from the third inning on and never wavered. Taiwan Walker records the victory his 13th of the year. Edwin